Welcome back, my lambs. We're in for a new game here. I'm trying it out. It's called Depersonalization. People were telling me I had way too much personality on this channel, so let's, uh, let's get rid of that and let's play Depersonalization. Don't know too much about this. I'll probably make a series about it if I like it. If I don't, well, you know, obviously you'll just get a nice one off and that'll be that. Strap yourselves in. Get prepared. Grab yourself a nice drink of water. Nice drink of coffee, whatever you're feeling like. Let's get on in, shall we? Uh, alright. Module duration, medium. Identity investigation, preset role. Era, modern. Type, explore. Alright. Well, is there anything else? I... I can start the story. This is a tale of the Forgotten Ones. When the false history falls, how do humans decide their destiny? When all your life has been a facade, will you still light others' paths with your candle? Let's, uh... Settings. Audio. Maybe go down a little bit. Uh, yeah. There we go. Alright, now we're, now we're a bit better. Let's start the story, shall we? Alright. In the deepest of awareness. Okay. Maybe... Maybe I'll turn off that AI voice. The key of the stars. You are the origin of my origin, and my last hope to break through the cage of space-time here. No speaker, please. Alright, the size of this window is being strange, too. That's fine. We're going through. Does that fix it? Uh, it's looking okay. It's looking okay. Alright, at this moment, the history of place cannot be rewritten. I need to go back to the beginning of my consciousness and fall asleep. Before that, you need to replace me in this space. Only you can break through the barriers of space-time here. Alright. All right, in the bedroom, a child about eight years of age is changing the oh the daffodils in a vase. A young woman is lying in bed, leaning against a headboard to rest. A nan. All right, none of our aunts and uncles are awake yet. I tried to wake them up, nothing happened. So I sneaked out into the gardens to pick some flowers. Will you, uh, will they blame me when they find out? After hearing the child's words, the woman's face turned sad. Alright, but still, she braced her body, faced the child, and then explained slowly. A good boy like you has nothing to do with it. Your aunts and uncles are just too tired, thus they need good rest. There you go. Shouldn't bother them at all. Mm-hmm. Ooh, we gotta move down to the town together. And go freely. Really? Alright, feeling much better now. Tell Grandpa that he shouldn't worry. But don't go to don't go to the secret room, otherwise your father will be angry. Alright, you promised your mother. You would do as she asked. You're ready to leave now so as not to disturb her rest. Perfect. Alright, what do we got? Change of clues. We found a clue. We got a luck upgrade. Okay. 
All right, we got some operation stuff. We got audio options, operations. So we got basic operations. We can move. We can F stuff to to interact. We can space to confirm. Uh, view in and interactive objects. See, walk around, and shift. Okay. We have life. Oh, it's like an R straight up RPG. What do we got here? As long as the investigator does not suffer damage greater than maximum HP, be able to resist damage effects. Okay, sounds good. Zero. Exploring the module. Oh, straight up RPG. We're uh getting right in there, eh? Okay, this is like tabletop RPG thrown into a game. Kind of great. Dark dice checks. Concealed dice uh, interface will be displayed when the character in the module takes action. The story will enter a different branch of roots according to the skill verification results of the... Ah, interesting. Okay. It's like DM dice. Uh, action characters will... Con um, actions between characters will conflict. Cases of a conflict. A skill... Com yeah, okay. We do some skill rolls. Bonus penalties. Sure. The weapons will have one or more types including normal, strength, dexterous technical shield and gun the ability of normal weapons is mediocre but is still uh but can still improve by damage preparing for attack with normal weapons strength weapons can trigger attack preparations to increase the damage is equipped with a dexterous weapon the dodge action every time you attack with a technical weapon it will make an uh erudition test erudition test Okay, cool. All right. Let's F this flower. We'll take all the items. Why not? F these photos. This is your family photo where you're about, um, there are about 10 people pictured here. A little boy sitting on his knees, an old man with gray hair. Behind stands a young couple. Okay. We're getting clues, I guess. I guess I just have to press F once. Uh, what do we got? Kerosene lamp. We got some bread. We got some material. Okay. We'll take all. Let's talk to her again. Mom is resting. I can't disturb her. Okay. I will not disturb her then. Uh, we got inventory. Let's, let's, let's put up some stuff. Nope. We don't have any team. Bag. Let's put on Lantern. Equip the main hand. Alright. Good stuff. We got active skills. Wait for round. Place a turn. This may cause stat. Okay. Uh, menu. Alright. I have to F the doors to get out of the doors. It's kind of cool. You gently close the bedroom door. All right, let's wander around this place. I got some life. I got some... Okay. Oh, I guess we could set the carpet on fire for whatever... <laughs> Why we would ever do that, I don't know. All right, this is one of your family photos. There's 10 people stand together. An old white man is standing in the middle. A young couple holding a baby beside him. The woman does not look well. Her face is pale. And the man behind is wearing a black, wide-brimmed hat so you can see, oh, so you can't see his face. Well, let's go to the secret path. You skillfully activate the hidden door switch and the passage to the secret room appears in your front eyes. This Is this the place they told me not to go? This is like exactly the place they told me not to go, right? That's where I'm going. Okay, so I got some fire. Let's see if I can uh, uh, equip an offhand. Okay. Do you attack weapon lose one durability? When attacking, there's a chance to add burning state to target. All right. Very cool. I pick up this one too. Okay, well let's let's go explore the castle before we go too crazy into the secret hallways and stuff. Inspiration check. Uh, 
Inspiration check, result success, confirm. I'm sorry, what? You feel uneasy for no reason, as if there are many unseen dangers looking around you. You hear strange sounds coming from around, taunting, laughing. The feeling disappears when you breathe out. Uh, okay. A heavy, uh, a heavy sound like the door being pushed open rings out from behind you. You can't help but look back. A man wrapped in bandages pushes the portrait aside and slowly walks out from the corridor of the secret room. Okay. Grace, my love. We can finally be together for eternity. Okay. Black fog and, uh, twines around both of them and their forms dissipate into the void. You watch your parents disappear into smoke. You hear the sound of strings snapping in your heart. Alright. We've passed. Uh, alright, well. Take a stopwatch. The calligraphy on the letterhead is elegant. You recognize it to be your mother's handwriting. There are some words uh, of love written in it. Ronald, my love, my father has warned me not to meet with you. For now, I can only convey my thoughts in this way. Anan, that's me, is awake now. Don't worry. The method worked. He forgot about the incident. All right, we found the clue. We got some luck upgrades. Uh, we do need luck upgrades, it feels like. Let's pick up the stopwatch. Let's check out what the stopwatch does. All right, story. Can we equip it? Oh, yeah. Plus 10 will. Sounds good. So we have this. All right, well. Perfect. Let's take a look around then. Check out some other places. I don't think we're going to set the carpets on fire just yet. You look out the window, the sun, the grass, the forest, that world you've always wanted to be in. Very interesting. Um... I guess this is the other room. Just when you're about to enter the room, time stagnates. You lose consciousness. You don't know how much time has passed. When you're awake, uh, when you awaken, your grandfather is standing before you. As you look around, you notice the door has appeared to the study. Uh, one you've never seen before. Child, you're the last hope of the family. All the stars in the world align according to certain laws, but people's faiths differ. We let you take on too many responsibilities, more than you should bear. Now, little one, allow, uh, I allow you ten years of freedom. Grandfather points to the store, the door standing at the center of the study. This door connects to two worlds. You see the meadow in the for uh, you see the meadow in the forest outside. Uh, you find that the grandpa is not as strict as usual today. His speech is unusually soft. At one moment, uh, this makes you feel quite weird, and you subconsciously asked, "Grandpa, we're not going together." Grandpa, I don't want to go. I want to be with you. I don't want to leave here. I don't like the world outside. I want to stay with daddy and mommy. I don't want to leave you. Child, I didn't gift you with this. I didn't get, I didn't gift you with a happy childhood. It's all grandpa's fault. Your parents, grandpa, couldn't save him. Now at the end, I can only offer you a small gesture. 
I'll buy you 10 years of freedom. Anan, my dearest child, I'm proud of you. Even when you are down, you can face life with optimism. But the hay still grows in your heart. I know you've been putting up with, with the misery. Just try and forget about it. Okay, teleport away. Oh no. Forget the stone walls and the structure of this house. Forget the faces of your family. Forget about the past memories. Forget everything that happened here. But my little... But my little one, remember. The sky is always the same. No matter where you are, the stars will always light your way home. In your eyes, that doorway transforms into a soft and comfortable bed. Now, just want to rest. A good rest. Alright. Sleep time. You went through the door in a daze. The meadow and the skyline were there a moment ago, suddenly disappeared. A waterfall of heavy rain followed, fiercely washing away the town in front of you, Dunwich. The heavy rain roared along the river. The huge castle standing in the cliff collapsed, and the flash of the town was raised to the ground. You felt dizzy, falling unconscious on the side of the road. Oh, damn. Right at that moment, a scholarly-looking man with gray hair happened to be driving a Ford. Okay, he's driving a Ford. It's gotta be a Ford. Welcome to Fordsville. In the torrential downpour, the blinding headlights shone towards your collapsed body on the side of the road. Finding your unconscious body, he rushed out of the car and carried you to safety. In a gust of wind that pouring rain, the car safely passed by the mudslide and dr uh, passed by... The mudslide and drove all the way to Providence. Providence, Rhode Island. Nice. So this is, this is basically straight up Lovecraftian. 10 years later, Providence, nighttime dormitory. Another conflict occurred near here. The security around here is getting worse and worse. Just follow the doctor's advice and rest early. I hope the medicine works. You seem to have sealed some of the memories and want to unseal them, but you cannot suppress the pain. It's like a big mess of things tumbling around in your head. You can only deal with this little by little because the recollection is too painful. If you keep putting it there, no matter where it is, it is like a big mass that accumulates more and more. How to solve it by physical means. Just before he used extreme methods to solve the problems, your reason takes control for itself. Chief compliant, chief complaint, insomnia, palpalitis, accompanied by hallucinations. History of present illness, poor appetite, memory disturbance, partial low loss of emotional function. Physical exam, bunch of nonsense there. Uh, diagnosis is recommended to avoid Take the medicine bottle out of the cabinet and open it. The medicine prescribed to your uh, by your doctor prevents you from being affected by the psychiatric disorders, which may lead to hallucinations. We have one option. We will take the medicine. I hope I have good dreams tonight. Well, I might have some bad news for you, sir. There we go. We succeeded. You want to get less luck? No. We're going to keep our luck up. 50% looks good. Despite the medication, your sen uh, sensitive nerves are still preventing you from sleeping. Your mind is filled with images. Late at night, you are half asleep, half awake. Yigne, Yigne. You can't, okay. Uh, it's very real, but it's just a dream. Hey, success! Hell yeah! You woke up from the nightmare, holding on to the wall, uh, holding on to the wall in a cold sweat. Although there was no wound, the pain in the dream also ached your body. After calming down, you adjusted your breathing, and the pain subsided a little. You hesitated and decided to go back to sleep. You fall to sleep, and this time, the nightmare doesn't appear until the morning comes. Okay. All right, we got some trash on the ground. There's no writing on the envelope. But the pattern stamped on the wax seal seemed uh, inexplicably familiar. You subconsciously open the envelope. 
Anon, my dearest child, today is your 18th birthday. I have prepared a birthday present for you, uh, which I have placed in my study. For security reasons, I can't write in detail here, but I am sure you can find it. Why did the letter disappear? Why did the letter disappear? Your mind is flooded with a fragmented images. It's like a dream, but it don't uh, but you don't seem to be awake yet. Memories come up from the depths of memory, yet nothing can be grasped like smoke. Nothing can be grasped like smoke. What? Okay. You try to adjust these memories. Uh, fortunately, there is none of the usual pain in digesting memories this time. An image comes to your mind where you see the old castle at night. In the sky, the stars of enlightenment shine brightly. The chapel in the west side the dome of the stargazers. Everything is so familiar. Finally, you remember the memories of your family. Goddamn. Hey, look at that. A little luck upgrade. This is the... Go to Arkham? <laughs> Concealment. It's my parka. So we got splints. And use it for medical stuff. Yeah, we'll take it all. Why not? I don't... Hell yeah. Umbrella. Drink our coffee. Perfect. Uh, take books. Read the newspaper. Let's read the newspaper. What do we got in the news today? News says, The meat products delivered to the city from Arkham have a major food safety incident. Although the related food companies have been investigated and punished, most of the food has already entered the market. The person who eats it, uh, the person who eats it will have crazy. Oh, hold on, we'll have crazy what? Oh, oh, I have to scroll down? We'll have crazy... Nope, okay, just nothing. Take the books. What do we got here? Thesis. Uh, it mainly focuses on the study of the lost city of Caracosa. It was said that the city disappeared in the abnormal in an abnormal catastrophe. Hundreds of thousands of people, including buildings, mysteriously disappeared overnight. It set up a chain reaction that led to the wars between the surrounding uh, dynasties for hundreds of years. Interesting. Uh, horror fiction. Observe. Use in the explore. Initial reading. Try to find some useful clues in it. Take that. Take that. All right. Let's. Uh, Amy. Amy's recommended books. I haven't finished them all. After that, I'll return them to the library. Well, let's uh, let's check our bag. First things first, we're gonna equip our thing in our main hand. We still have the fire, that's kind of great. We, ju we just kept the fire with us the entire time. So we're going to observe, we're gonna use this. Can we read? Hey, we did it! Critical success, hell yeah. Good. I'm gonna wear this. And we're gonna have this in our offhand. No, uh, notes for the book, and then there was, will be, oh, what is this? How do I use it? X, view detail? X. Anon, Anan, there will be a school production of Tosca these days. I've never been to an opera. Will you go with me, Amy? Cute. Alright. This thesis. Can't do anything with it. No? Alright. We got process. Uh, the metal skeleton is good. What, what do we process it for? Oh, we can make screwdrivers, bandages, sticks, torch. Nail and hammer. Ham nailed. Hammer. Chopping knife. Oh, okay. We got an item, the chopping knife. The brawl attacker, sharp, uh, there's a chance bleeding target. What does this do? Okay, so I guess we'll just open main hand, switch that with the umbrella. Cool. What do we got over here? Oh, we got the tranquilizer, medical records, gold, and food. We'll take all that. Let's check out and see what our medicine does. Uh, remove confusion can be used. Okay. All right, we got some. We got some 
very, 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 uh, oh my god, what is this? Campus gate, pharmacy, grocery, car rental, bridge. We'll go to the library uh, to send our stuff. Carl's room? Nah, we're going to the library. Let's go. We have action points? Oh my god. We only got one day. Alright, what's up, Amy? Amy. Opera will be performed soon. I'm very fond of opera, too. But I have to leave school for a while, so... Can you wait for me to come back? Uh, that's great. Um, doesn't matter if you don't come back on time. Uh, there's still a chance. Ann Ann, be careful when you go out. Well, I'll pay attention. I'll be back as soon as I'm done with the job. Okay, well. Get trait, ig ignorant love. Nice. Uh, well, we got some clues. Worth an action point, I think. What do we got here? Uh, this is the work by the expressive post -imperson uh, impressionist painter Van Gogh. It's a rough brushwork emphasis the tension, yet is perme uh, permeated by a silent melancholy. The dominant blue coloring shapes in the sense of gloom invisibly oppressing the senses. The highly exaggerated distortion and strong visual contrast allow one to appreciate the artist's relentless, a restless emotions and psychedelic imagery. Oh, imaginary world. Blech. Is this the same thing? Yeah, same same thing, different side. Very cool. What do we got here? Perceval Lowell. Lowell? Percival Lowell believed that the Chaparelli canals were actually irrigation canals built by intelligent beings. A view that was later generally accepted as the only understandable explanation. The seasonal melting of the Martian polar ice caps has seen as seen has led to speculation that an advanced Martian race built canals and transported water to the arid uh, <laughs> equilateral regions. No, it's nonsense. Aliens didn't build the canals. Aliens didn't build them. They didn't do it. Miss Julie is a professor of history and linguistics. She likes you very much and wants you to inherit her research. She has always been very strict with you. But your recent experiment has rendered you speech. But your recent experiment experience has rendered what? Speechless. What? You made it into uh, you made it into class on time. But however, no one has any memory of you being there. Okay. Um, Ann Ann, still have time to hang out? Come back to class now. Miss Julie, I have to leave school for a while recently. Young people are always wasting their own time. <laughs> Just know the bullshit. I don't... Drinking, partying, gambling, travel. Just want to have fun. Uh, do I, do I try it again? Psychology? Am I trying to psychologize her? I'm gonna try it again. Nailed it. Get psychologized. Miss Julie does not really get angry. She's more of a helpless... Oh, helplessness and disappointment. Oh. I finished the assignment assigned yesterday. I promise I will make it up for the missed lessons during the time after I come back. You must remember. As a digger of knowledge boundaries, never slack off. I I think this is the localization team, personally. Because it was, a, I think, a Chinese game. Maybe a Japanese game. But... It was, it's definitely not an English game to start with. You take this material, this is the summary of the course content I prepare for you. Thank you. I will take the course content. We're looking for clues in all the places around here. Who's this guy? Man is concentrating on reading books. Yep. I have Newt. Toe of frog, wool of bat, and tongue of dog, for a charm of powerful trouble, like a hell broth boil and bubble. Yeah, is that? That's nonsense. Stop that. 
You're not doing research, man. The second floor is closed recently. It's a pity that there are ancient books inside. Not open due to recent book theft. A witness saw a monster wandering on the second floor. That monster looks like a bat that holds many books on its chest. The monster knocked out a witness after spotting him. Before he passed out, uh, he smelled a strong stench. Like fresh maggots crawling out of the sewer. But the police took what he said with his, uh, as his illusion. Do you think what he saw was really an illusion? He said he saw a monster. Do you think that was an illusion? It's not an illusion, man. Illusion is a phenomenon which uh, the perception results in dis uh, uh, are distorted in a specific situation. If you don't have this distortion for a long time, then what he saw, uh, the way he saw that time, would not be illusion. But it's not ruled out that it will be. That it would be the disguise of a person. Yeah. Okay. Ah, great. I am the witness. I felt both fear and curiosity since that day. I'm going crazy if I don't find out the truth, okay? <laughs> you can try and help the police with their investigation as a witness. Of course, your statement needs to be modified, and it's better not to be too subjective. Otherwise, no one would believe the crazy words of a frightened person. You are right. Alright, good. We learned about a monster. Good stuff. Second floor seems to be under construction, can't go up. Interact with this. An empty seat are filled with books. The chairs were taken away and it seems to break a leg. Uh, it seems to break a leg to get a seat. Okay. Yo, be careful when you go out. I'll wait for you to come back. Uh, are we not gonna... Poster of Tosca. Yeah, are we not gonna return our books? Can I not return my books? Interesting. Do I have books to return? I have this book to return, right? Interesting. What do we have? Process? No, I don't want to process stuff. Clues. A letter from mom and dad. What's this? Oh, these are all just like quest clues. All that active skill. No, we're not gonna wait. All right. FY character details. Look at all this stuff. I got strength, dex, intelligence, willpower, constitution, materials, gold, ammunition. Sweet. Off I go. Uh, who the hell's Carl? And why would I go to his room? No action point consumed re-entry available. Dormitory, no action point consumed re-entry available. Pharmacy, grocery, car rental, bridge. Let's go. What's up? Hey, cat. Okay, spook the cat. Well, the game looks beautiful. This is nice. Fortunately, you find some four-leaf clovers along the rubble on the grassland. I'm sorry, what? What was it gonna do? Uh... Should I just use it? Alright. Luck growing in check. Okay. Well, see you later, card. Let's talk to this, uh, person. Caretaker. Isn't this Anon? As always, those animals still don't like you. Oh no. I don't know why. No matter what kind of animal, they seem fully hostile towards me. But I don't think they're hostile towards you, more like they fear you. All the animals in school are, are submissive and are really special are submissive and you are a really special person. Have you ever considered a part-time job at the zoo? Forget it. I don't want to be uh, accompanied by animals protection organizations. Yeah, that's fair. Okay. Girl playing guitar. Behold, among sands, someone is planting. 
Will no one tell me what he sings? Perhaps the plaintive number flows. For old, unhappy, far things. Familiar matter, matter of today. Some natural sorrow, loss, or pain. That has been, and may be again. The music in my heart I bore. Long after it was heard no more. Okay, nice rhyming. Trying the story, stuck in the manhole cover tightly. You can, uh, you can't move the manhole cover. Okay, I don't have the appropriate tools. I would love to pick up gold. I love gold. Let's observe this. Some phone numbers are written on the note. Among them, you see that railway administration. Uh, a car was affixed under the note. Uh, nothing is marked on the card. Leaving only a string of strange numbers. Observe the checking. Nope. Uh, confirm. That's fine. Investigate this. There are many coins lying inside quietly. Yeah, I know. Uh, there's no response when you dial is turned. It requires a coin. Okay, so we're gonna put a coin in. Insert a coin. Alright, well, lucky us, the coin worked. Sign of success, the coin's uh, insertion comes, the telephone was ready to use. Alright, let's, uh... Let's call the strange number, shall we? There's a sound on the phone. The Stein. Unusual mechanical vocals, apparently tape recordings. Cool. Oh yeah, yeah, I gotta put a coin in. Well, let's insert the coin. Nope, we failed it. We'll continue. Machine doesn't respond after you put a coin in. You realize that the coin either goes to another dimension. Either the machine swallowed the coin because of disrepair. We've succeeded in putting a coin in a machine. Uh, yeah, let's call them. After waiting a while, you learned from the uh, impatient man the train is bound for Arkham mysteriously disappears. What? This line has been blocked, uh, and the reopening time is unknown. God damn. Anything else? Yeah, deserve this more. Note. We got the railroad administration and the card. The strange number. Okay. Well, let's leave. Let's leave there. Uh, let's search for resources. We'll get this match and these gold. We'll take all that. Thank you very much. Uh, let's scout the trash can. Uh, observe, I guess. We shouldn't use luck. That seems bad. So we'll use this. Yep. We used our appropriate skill. We'll confirm. Uh, 10th Barn Street. We got a note. Uh, there should be no such street as Barn Street in the city. Why? We buy a good baseball bat together, as you promised last time. As you can see, I have already paid for it. Now it's your turn to pay, play your, uh, to pay your part. It's with me and you can use it any time. I don't have enough money. Hmm. <laughs> I can only give you five bucks at most. Five bucks? This is worth a hundred bucks at least. You have to pay half. Fifty bucks. This stick is clearly not worth so much. Are you doubting me? So all I have to do now is go back and tell my father you're going to buy that thing back. I only have twenty bucks. Ah, just consider me a loss. Just consider me a loss this time. We are brothers after all. After accepting the money, the blonde-haired man leaves cheerfully. You got scammed. I wouldn't have bought, uh, wouldn't have brought the money out if it wasn't for buying it back. Where can I raise 20 bucks? Uh, what do I do now? Today is the last day and my boss required me to get things back. Alright, lend him the money. Here's 20 bucks, idiot. 
Uh, many thanks. I will pay you back as soon as I have the money. He quickly ran out of the campus gate. Yeah, well. Helping out bullied boys is what we do. Let's continue checking stuff out. Okay, so we got car rental. Okay, consume one action point, no addition actions, consumed, uh, all right. So we gotta go to the pharmacy, I'm guessing, right? I guess we can go to the bridge. Uh, the story will go to the next stage. You cannot go back to Providence. Ah, if we go to the bridge? Interesting. Do we really want to go to car rental? What do we do at the car rental? I guess we gotta get a car to rent, right? You arrive at the car rental agency where well-dressed individuals are standing by the entrance. After st uh, stating your purpose, the person in charge says to you, As you can see, the storefront is still under renovations. I don't know... I don't even know where I'll be able to stay tonight. Just as you're about to leave, you remember a strange recorded phone conversation. Uh, Birchington Hotel. You make it... Uh, you make eye contact, confirming their secret code. The person in charge blindfolds you and leads you through a series of twists and turns, finally arriving at a room filled with an assortment of weapons inside. You see a wide variety of beverages. Hey, what's going on? Oh man, alright. Alright, now the alcohol is a com hot commodity, you can earn a hundred bucks a gallon. Alright, let's see what I can sell. Anything uh, worth selling? Lighter, umbrella, splint, flowers, food. How much we can sell? We're gonna buy a machete for sure. Do you wanna try and bargain with him? Explosives, a magnum revolver, pretty wild. Uh, brass knuckles, pretty cool too. Let's, uh, let's buy the machete. We're not gonna try and bargain him. All right, let's uh, let's leave. Nice. Uh, let's go. Let's go to the pharmacy. See what's up with that. Whoa, alcohol. We can buy alcohol. And none of these. Got no bandages. How much money do I have? Firm. The doctor at the pharmacy sees your physical state and shows uh, sympathy for you. How is your physical condition so bad? She opens the cabinet next to her and you see there are medicine, uh, there are medicine, medical? There are medical in it. All right. Whoa. You better choose some medicine that restore health, strength, and go home and rest. How much money do I have? I have 32? I guess I'll buy this. It's got a huge discount, so I'll buy that. Nice. And, uh, yeah. Uh, we're not gonna sell anything. We'll just, uh, oh, we should have talked. Let's go back to the grocery. No, let's go back to the pharmacy. Back to the pharmacy. Let's chat. Ask about medicine pot. Do you want to buy some herbs directly? Uh, it is true that there are many chemical components in plants that are effective for human body. Uh, but there are not many people who overcome the bitterness of the herb juice. I could sell you some. There we go, we got some herbs out of the store. Buy some herbs? What do they do? Eat, value medical science. I guess I could like... Sell the umbrella? Yo, take my umbrella. I'm gonna buy... <laughs> At least one herb and that'll probably be good for now I think sell your torch one torch buy a second herb have no money and uh bags oh that's what I got okay off I go let's uh back to my dormitory yeah, let's go back here. And back. I don't know if I can rest for the day. And that'll be good. But I guess uh, let's check out Carl's room. 
As soon as you enter the room, you see Carl drinking, uh, drinking drunk while humming his own unique tune and writing the manuscript happily. He's singing a nice song. Scouting. Uh, the cluster of desk characteristic of the academic professor. We will use our... Hell yeah. Confirm. What do we got here? Sir, what is this painting about? Ah, it was sent by a previous patient of mine to thank me for curing his strange illness. He was young but kept complaining that his memory was getting worse and worse. He said he kept dreaming of strange sights and then he woke up and didn't remember anything. He only remembered a vague place that he'd like to visit in his dream. So I hypnotized him and made him search for memories in his dreams. Then I received this painting and he must have found it. Look, he's smiling in front of that yellow house. You can see a broken yellow badge in the mail. Uh, when you touch it, it feels something strange. There, there's a twist, distorted line on the back. There's something wrong with this thing. I can't let it get out of the, uh, get to the teachers until I figure out. Teacher, may I know something about this badge? Can I take it and study it for a while? Here, take it. I've got a mountain of clutter. I haven't got time for them either. Did I just pick up a curse item? What's this? Broken badge on the back of the yellow badge? Yeah. What? Oh, I want to equip this. Hell yeah. More willpower? More willpower for me. I'm throw this. There's a lot of stuff to... A lot of items, a lot of inventory, a lot of things. Uh, oh. View the research record. What do we got here? There's numerous scattered pieces of consciousness that have been stored to the subconscious sea since the evolution of humans. The subconscious groups of, sub of consciousness is the origin of human common habits. And yet, which came first? The sea of the body and the mind are inextricably linked. Uh, the mind is never forms formless and is never independent of the body. Everyone is born with a brain capable of thinking and feeling. And because of all complex emotions in the humans have uh, corresponded and exquisite. Okay, well, it just kind of stops. I think? I think it stops. Alright. I'm not an alcoholic. Uh, did you know, Anand, that this is kind of personality mask? Can I say that? I can't say that I comprehend this very much. For example, being drunk is a mask for my personality. When I'm drunk, I can roll around without any worries, letting my emotions out. I have some wine here. You want to try? You need to be more, uh, you need more variety of emotions than a single one. You can try to imitate and gain more non-theoretical knowledge. This is also good for your spirit. Got it, sir. I also have tried to meet, I have also tried to read more literature. How does that feel? I hate it. No, specifically I hate stories because people don't tell stories just to tell them and listen to them. They put themselves in a position of authority to state what they think are the right values. Santa Claus will have a list of bad kids. It takes a hardworking bee to get the honey. A woman is made from one of Adam's ribs. These familiar stories are laced with many personal values. The more widely they are told, the more they bind people. To me, the power of the story is to speak the so-called truth, which later becomes an enforced right. You really care about the true history? Yes, I would like to know what the story itself really is really like. But no one can go back in time and feel the real history. We can only summarize past from the perspective of a grand narrative. Well, I don't think you're here today to discuss academics. Sir, I've come to say goodbye. I'm going back to Arkham. Great. Even if you don't go, I will also persuade you to go out. One's past experience will affect every aspect of the present, and I can awaken your past memories. No, don't hypnotize me, Carl. Carl! Put your glasses on, Carl. Don't put them over your head. 
There should be a cause for your curtain pro- Uh, yeah. Of course, you'd better relax your mind. Even if there are no results, just think of it as a relaxing vacation trip. People still need more sense of purpose to do. Understood. I hope that before you come back, uh, before you come back, I've found the psychological explanation for your condition. Here are the car key. Uh, here's the car key. Uh, I won't be going out anytime soon. Well, if you're embarrassed, you can wash. You can wash it for me on your way back. It's been with me for many years, and it's an old thing like me. Thank you, Professor. All right. Well, good thing we went and talked to him. We got the goods. We don't need to go to our dorm. Campus gate. Let's go back there. Talk to these losers again. You paid money to get this rag doll back. Since you still have money, return that 30 bucks to me. That, that, uh, that's, that someone lent me. Huh. What is that? Remember, you owe me 30 bucks. Blonde hair man left the doll angrily. What is this? Help mend the doll. Let's use our crafting skill. We're crafty. Yeah, we are. Alright. Thank you. This doll was the last thing my mother left for me. My father thought it was too dirty to keep, so he threw it away secretly till I saw it in an antique store. Fortunately, the shopkeeper kept his promise and didn't sell it away. Alright. Great. Uh, 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 he's my big brother. We are not related by blood, but my father likes him very much. Maybe I'm, uh, maybe too much like my mother. Sorry. Oh, maybe I'm too much like my mother. Sorry. I sell a lot of things you don't understand. Thank you anyways. I'll scrape together money as soon as possible. He whispered to the doll. I'm sorry. I couldn't protect you. I'm sorry. All right. Well, see you later, man. Crazy little doll boy. Uh, well. Let's do it. We're bridging out. Uh, yeah, let's go. Providence to Arkham, Massachusetts is not too far by car. More than 130 and 43 miles of road can be reached in one day, but there are many mountain roads. The mountain breeze blowing in your face makes you feel relaxed. Maybe it's a good idea to travel occasionally. There are many quaint little villages and rugged trails along this way. Through fields after field of corn and orchard, the leaves are changing color, decorating the trees, bright red and golden, brilliant and full of life. In the evening, you follow the map, uh, the map marker to a mountain road. Unknowingly, clouds covered the sky. Raindrops hit the car windows uh, sporadically. You are ready to speed up your trip, but until night fell, the town of Dunwich remained unknown. You drive your car and follow the map to find your hometown. But until the night fell, the town of Dunwich was still missing and you were still surrounded by mountains. Just as time, just as the time you, just at the time that you don't know what to do, a covered bridge appeared in the mid of the mountains, but a stone pillar in front of the covered bridge does not seem to allow your car to pass. Okay. Are we perceptive? We certainly aren't. Let's try again. Yeah, we are. Something is coming. Uh, we'll use the conceal, because we have our plus 10 conceal shirt. Uh, well, let's try it again. Dare we? Let's try it one more time. One more time, we're gonna try and conceal ourselves. Hell yeah. A group of fat rats appeared in front of you. You are surprised. How can there be such big rats? Those are huge ass rats. You gonna eat the car? Nice, nice. 
All right. A huge wooden bulletin board with the Welcome to Dunwich on it. Welcome to Dunwich. The maintenance stage was scribbled in the paint under the bridge. The last column reads 1902. What was that? I guess the 1st of October, 1902? The bridge has not been maintained for 18 years, and I don't know if it's dangerous to walk on it. Uh, I mean, you can go back in the car and just drive away. Uh. Yeah, we're going to take all of our stuff, obviously. We'll take all that. Yeah, we'll siphon out all the gas and the battery so it doesn't drain itself out, even though the lights are still on. It's fine. And, uh, yeah. Let's, uh, and... Ooh. We'll just add a nice little save here. And, uh, yeah, that was the first little bit of depersonalization. I definitely will keep on going. I'm very interested in how this goes. If you are interested in how this goes, uh, let me know in the comments below. But, yeah, I'll probably be playing some more. And even before this video's out, there'll be probably more content of it already made. So thanks for joining me. Hopefully you're liking this. It's kind of a cool mystery game. Interesting stuff. I'll see you in the next one. Bye for now.